what is going on everybody so today in this video we're going to be going over a scent that i end up picking up from lazarus duvo rose 1845 this particular fragrance is uh masterfully done very beautiful just layout of the notes everything is so intentional just a beautiful beautiful fragrance here I have about roughly about seven, I'll say about between five and seven mLs of this fragrance. The notes for this is Rose Absolute de Gras, Rosato, Bergamot, Geranium, Tasmanian Borneo Extract, Benzoin, Cinnamon, Bleach Cedar, Tonka, and Patchouli. This fragrance, it smells about as natural as it's, as it's gonna get for a rose scent. This is probably one of the most natural rose since that I have trying this on and it's beautiful it comes off as it hits the skin that bergamot is going to be there and is going to definitely play a huge role in how this comes off the bergamot the patchouli is there and I get that bleach cedar coming in as well cinnamon's way in the background very fresh airy woody floral type of a scent the cinnamon begins to come up as you wear this a bit more along with that cinnamon that benzoin that has sort of like that resinous peppery sort of vibe um the geranium is going to come in there as well and it's going to almost create like this really light misty peppery sort of vibe to it and I gotta say, one thing I will say about this is the bergamot to me doesn't fade really quickly. It's kind of like this real, really nice center point that's sort of holding everything together, or that that center point that everything crosses by. But you're getting that bergamot in just about in just about every aspect of the fragrance, and it's super pleasant. It it, it keeps it from drifting and becoming a little too woody, becoming a little too floral. Uh, becoming a uh, it keeps it from being two dimensional and it adds like this really just refreshing sort of vibe to it without it being a fresh fragrance there's a little bit of a musk here as well just slightly the rose is full and just a bold rose scent and as full and as bold as it is it's not the focal point the thing here is nothing really is the wood isn't the focal point the rose is beautifully done, but it isn't really the focal point. The the freshness comes in, but that's it's not a freshy. Nothing really is taking over the show and, and is the main part of the show. Everything just comes together and, and blends together beautifully. Blends together beautifully and it just it smells just amazing. And then the Tonka comes in as well. And, and works alongside that benzoin, that cinnamon, and that geranium. It's just, it's, it's geniusly done. You're getting all these different elements that normally will take over a fragrance. Rose would normally take over a fragrance. Cinnamon definitely sometimes can take over a fragrance and it can just be a little bit too much. Um, tonka sometimes, sometimes can be a little bit much and not necessarily take over a fragrance, but it'll definitely be a prominent part of it. And all these elements come together and they do it in a way where nothing is more than the other. Everything is just well balanced, well blended, and it just smells beautiful. This fragrance smells absolutely amazing. And on me, this lasts, I'd say roughly about nine to 10 hours. It's a scent where it's, it's easily detectable. I can instantly pick it up. I don't have to get all the way on my skin to pick it up or smell it. It's on my skin for such a long time. As I'm wearing it throughout the day and I begin to perspire, it mingles and meshes in well with uh, my skin chemistry. And it's just beautiful. It's just a really pleasant fragrance to have. It has like a slight sweetness to it as well. And it begins to change a little bit more. As you have it on, it kind of smooth, gets a little smoother. A little bit of a sweetness comes up. The bergamot comes in some more as well. And it almost has like this slight vanilla almost vibe to it, even though there's no vanilla present it just has like this really smooth sweetness that puts you in the mindset of vanilla almost i will drop the link in the description where you can check out this fragrance for yourself on their website like i said this, this stuff is just beautifully done the perfumer for this is christoph Lottamiel. uh it's just it's really good really good stuff 
like comment share subscribe and i will catch you guys soon peace